what's up everybody naresh here welcoming you all back into another video and in today's video we're going to review this smart power socket which is really a game changer well the reason i said it's a game changer because with the help of this product you can make your standard power socket as a smart and can be controlled by using your mobile phone voice control and a touch as well what i meant by voice control that you can use amazon product who i don't want it to name in this video google and if this and that and on top of it you are getting this smart power socket by british general which have got a very good reputation in power socket area and another good thing is that it fits 25 mm box too so you do not need to fit or ad do any adjustment to your old boxes now first thing to start with if you're new to my channel you are most welcome here on my channel i tend to review tech product showing each and everything about them starting with its features unboxing what comes with it following with the configuration setting up procedures and the demonstration then by the end of the video you will have an idea that the product we are reviewing or looking into is for you or not so if that is something you are interested in why not click on to the subscribe button which is on your screen now without further ado let's have a look into the features of this smart power socket which you can kind of tell by looking into the packaging itself starting with control your power by using your mobile phone voice using the amazon and google products and the touch which is right on the manual control then you can turn on and off on a touch as well as you can set the timer and a schedule the time you wanted to turn on a socket which will give you an extra application for the product like that that you can use it for your fragrance infusers light lamps or you would like to set a timer to wake up and stuff like that next to your bedside you can do so much with this kind of a thing there is a bit more detail available on the back of packaging starting with the affordable smart home integration simple setup and integration which we're gonna go through use your voice commands using the products obviously smart home products as well as no hub required now whatever product i have reviewed for power socket they required a hub in the past but this one you don't need a hub at all your wi-fi router will do the hub job and the application which you installed on your mobile phone and we will go through all about this within this video now let's go ahead with the unboxing and see what we have in the packaging Packages include one smart socket installation guide explaining each and everything about this product and how you can install it. And now in last but not least we have a smart power socket with two 13 ampere sockets. Now around these two touch switches you have a LED indicator lights where all the connection for the smart power socket are available on the back with the designated names on them starting with the live earth and a neutral now all the accessories like screws and a pins to install in the front for the decorations are available too which we obviously going to use when we install this power socket now let's go ahead with the installation process where i'm going to install it on a temporary basis just to show you how it works and everything but you can have it permanently if you want to let's go ahead with the installation on all the information about the color coding within your box each and every detail is also available within the installation guide you can follow that one that would also help you too now remember one thing whenever you open your electrical box you have to make sure it's completely isolated there is no power whatsoever on it if you're not confident do not do that simple is that now within your box electrical box you will have a loop where within the loop you will be have one blue cable one brown and one green and a yellow which is earth where your blue is a neutral brown is alive and earth which is yellow and green and you're also going to see the similar pattern on your smart socket where you have a first connection which is for the brown live middle earth which is a green and a yellow i'm saying opposite way around maybe then the blue color which is neutral now let's just terminate all the wires in there now, 
Now make sure all wires are secured in there. Now once you're done with all, close the lid by using the screws provided. Secure the smart socket on the box. You can also use these dimples to hide out all the screws in front too. But I would not recommend to do it at this stage. First you need to make sure it's all working perfectly fine before you install these on it. Now we are at the stage where we can power up the power socket. Let's do that. Now let the power socket go through its startup procedure. When you see the red lights flashing which we can see right now, it's time for us to install the application and add this smart socket in the application. The application which you need for your Android mobile phone or for iOS. QR code for both are available with an installation guide. Now it's very easy to find this PG application within the Google Play Store. Open up your Google Play Store, search for the application which is called BG Home application. Within the search result you're going to see the first application which is BG Home. Open it up and install. Once application is successfully installed, open it right from there. If you do not have account with the BG application, you need to create one by clicking on to this sign up button down below, agreeing with the terms and condition and follow the application to create an account, which will be very easy and straightforward. Now, once you successfully created account with the BG application, there is a time to add this device, which is our power socket. Now, first thing you need to do is press and hold this A button right in here for five seconds where you're going to see the blue and red light flashing on it. Now click on to add device and select the power socket. You gotta go through the wizard on your screen where first you need to enter the credential for the Wi-Fi which will be used by your power socket. At this moment of time it's only 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi is supported. So you have to have that one for sure. If you do not have 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi it's not gonna work at all. Now wait for this all configuration process to get completed. Now in here you need to tell the device where this smart socket will be located. There are some predefined names available in here. But if you'd like to use your own wording, you can click add customize. I'm going to call it living room. Okay, go enter, save. Now Go for the next and give it a name to the socket. I'm going to call it a socket at the moment of time, but you can customize the name if you want to. Now the process of setting is completed. Click on to the go to control panel where both of the sockets are turned on. As you can see that you can see the status indicator light, which is a blue in color available on it. Now you can turn off if you want by press of one button and you're going to see the status indicator light showing on your application at the same time too. Now you can turn the other one off. There you go. You can see that it updates very nicely and straightforward. Good, not bad. Good, not bad. You can turn them off as well. Voila. Now the configuration of the smart socket using the application is kind of a done. Let's have a quick look within the application itself, which is very important that we know each and every option of it. Now within your BG application at the home, you're going to see all the devices by BG. It could be a socket. It could be a plug available right in here, or you can subdivide them within the rooms as well. Like we have got it in here in the living room. Now what you can do actually basically you can create the scene using this application or you can go into the me where you're going to see all about yourself in there. Now if you go into your living room if you'd like to turn off everything by press of one button you can do that and it's going to show you the status of it as well. Now, if I go into the power socket itself I can see both sockets available in here. Down below here I can turn them off on individually if I want to or separate if I want to. You also have the shortcut keys available down below, starting with the both socket on, timer, delay, or a random if you want to. Now, let me plug in to see its performance. Now here I have two floor lamps. Let me turn on one of them. There you go. This is my left hand side. And that's my right hand side. 
so they are working fine no problem whatsoever now configuring and using your power socket with amazon as well as the google product is very easy and straightforward first thing you need to do is configure them let's go ahead with the first thing which is configuring your smart socket with amazon product by using amazon alexa app where first thing you need to do where first thing you need to do within your bg application is give a name to your sockets actually to access all the bg devices within your amazon products you need to open up amazon alexa app and click on to this menu tab on the top and click again to the skill and games and here search for bg home you're going to see the skill available right in there click on it and click enable to use where you need to enter your credentials which you created in the bg application and once your bg home skill successfully linked close this tab and click on discover devices it will take about 45 seconds for amazon product to come up in within the application now in time to time you might going to get this message click on to the close no need to worry about anything and scroll down into the all devices now within your discover devices you should be able to locate this socket actually or left and right socket the names you gave in the bg application i did notice that sometimes they only come with a socket or socket one or two names on it so try to locate just socket one or two or a socket left right that is a thing i found so i like to mention to all of you now here you can see i got a left socket and the right socket now you can open them up just to confirm that they are the right one there you go that's my left socket that's working fine and my right socket is available in there too which is that one here all right working perfectly fine now let's check out that the integration which we done with the amazon product is working fine or not by giving a command saying alexa turn on left socket there you go you can see the status indicator light on your smart socket as well as the light came on too now alexa turn off left socket good now alexa turn on right socket there you go alexa turn off right socket now you can also create a group within your amazon application to turn them on both same time or turn them off as well or you can link them within a group of your living room too that video is for the next time now let's go ahead and configuring this socket with your google products where we will be using google home application now within your home application click onto this plus button on the top and click on to the set up a device and click work with the google now in here click on to the search tab and type in b g home which you're going to see right in here straight away click on it confirm and go next into the credential for your bg home account and click sign in now once your bg account is successfully linked in is all done on the home screen of your home application if you scroll down within the link devices you should be able to locate left socket right socket in here now you can confirm the working of your left and right socket by pressing on on the left socket making sure it's working fine and on the right socket making sure it's working fine too and now it's time to give a voice command to google to check the working performance okay google turn on left socket okay turning on the left socket good one worked fine okay google turn on right socket okay turning on the right socket worked fine so there we go now we have successfully configured our smart power socket with bg application so we can turn it on and off from the mobile phone even the wi-fi we are at home or not actually guys you can turn as you can see that i just turned off my wi-fi i can go into the application i can still use it as well
and I can give a command to my Amazon as well as the Google to turn the socket on and off. So let's suppose if you're away from the home, you would like to turn off or you forgot to turn off something, you can use this application remotely to do this all for yourself as well. So this is all easy. Obviously having an automation gives you an edge actually in terms of uh, doing things uh, the, your own way. You know, that's the good thing I like the most about the home automation. Now, within this video, I have shown you each and everything what this smart socket could do and how you can configure it as well with all your best and greatest devices like Amazon and Google Home. That would be all from my side. Now, if you still have any more questions about this smart power socket, please do let me know in the comment section down below. And if you'd like to know more about it, please check the link in the video description or write down in the comment section down below. That would be all from my side, guys. Thank you very much for watching this video. Shall see you soon into another one. Bye for now and see you.